Greetings Internet, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 7.5 of my walkthrough of the demo of part 3 of Mole Moose Quest Paradox RPG. This time we're going to do the great decision on the Elias side. Surely there will be some differences due to the Mao being alive on this route. Mao always sees the 15th and the three Lilla sisters. Well done. You have arrived, Hero Luca and Goddess Elias. Since it's you guys, we thought you'd certainly get this far. That power, it will certainly be necessary to save the world. What nonsense! Mao! Where do your intentions lie? Even without asking directly, I would have... I would have you know it now. Everything is for the sake of the God, Dark God's world unification plan. That, and only that, is the single hope remaining to the world. And so, I did not balk at commanding slaughter. Putting the people of this world to death and unifying their souls, I won't let you accomplish such a plan. Goddess Ilias, you would be like that. But how about the thoughts of the hero Luca? We too aren't conducting massacres because we like it. In the events up to now, you've already come to realize that, right? Your power is definitely necessary. To save the world, become our allies! Hero Luca, you are carrying a great destiny. Alongside us, save the... Oh, of course. Hero Luca, you must not be taken in by the demon's enticements. Minions of the Dark God, don't go trying to advance as you please just before our arrival. Now is the time of the great decision. The hero's destiny is to walk the path that the goddess guides him on. Appearing there were the three seraphim. And so three from each from the heaven and demon world glared at each other. Hmm. Now you've come too, huh? You guys too are desperate to obtain the hero. We fully anticipated interference from the goddess world. We'll eliminate you here and now. Truly, this has become an explosive situation. At that moment, when Lilith and Aiden were about to make their moves. Hold that thought for now. Unexpectedly, a voice commanded the room. The formidable forces stopped in their tracks from the heavy pressure. Now is the time where Luca, destroyer of worlds, lays down his decision. This petty squabbling is inappropriate. Sa Saja sama Well, for the second to grace us with her personal presence, please forgive our rudeness. We are not able to receive you as you deserve. Yeah. Since we don't have Alice in our power to drool over Saja during that one cutscene, Big Alice has to have a line indicating that Saja is a, a big deal. Hmm. Pay not no mind. This form is not my true body. Ha! What can a mere vision do? Let's carry on and beat these three succubus sisters to death. Hold, Seller Seraphim. We ought not dirty the moment of this solemn decision with blood. Seraphim, just for now, sheathe your blades. Ravaera-sama, to think that you would come yourself. No, like that ancestor, this is a magical image. Anyway, we should not fight now. Hmm, 
It's obnoxious, but I concur. Until Luca lays down his decision, we have a ceasefire, don't we? Yes, until Luca makes up his mind. Until then, let us have no feud in this place. Saja and Rafaela took control of the room. And everyone present concentrated their gazes on me alone. Come, Luca. Now is when you lay down your great decision. Will you obey the dark god Alice sama and carry out the unification of the worlds, or... Will you, under the goddess Elias Sama's guidance, advance the Ark plan? Finally, the time has come. But there's no other way that I alone can lay down such a critical decision. I've only gotten this far thanks to the power of my allies, so I need to consult with them. Could I have a little time? I want to consult with my allies. Understood. We'll wait. After one hour, we'll ask again for your decision. Until then, blood is not allowed to be shed in this place. Do you understand this, Seraphim? We accept, if that be the guidance of Elias Sama. We too have no objection to a temporary ceasefire. Luca, we're anticipating a wise decision from you. We'll be waiting, hero Luca. Come here again after one hour's time. With the great decision in front of us, we were given time to consider it. To follow the dark god or to follow the goddess. In this single hour, I need to make a firm resolution. So you probably recognized bits and pieces of that being the same as on the Alice side. But, you know, now Alice V's the 15th was there, so... This is important because these two exist in this route. It was so challenging getting this far. With too many hardships, I feel like I'm going to grow a few tails. Hasn't it been good training for you, Mofu Mofuyu? Since you've been accompanying the Mao, you've become entirely dependable. Far from a two-tail or three-tail, you might grow to be a seven-tail or eight-tail. Maybe I'll let you be the Mao's lieutenant and retire myself. <laughs> I got praised by Tamamo-sama. The Mao's castle is so big, isn't it? But I feel a little out of place here. That is not the case, Isako. You've done well. You've accompanied me this far. From here on, too, you are my trusted retainer. I'll get a lot of work out of you, just you see. Yay! Will you make me a sheeten or two? That's... well... I'll consider it. <laughs> it's a small thing, but I'll point out that Alice got here with a slime girl and a fox girl. I'll call back to this later this episode, so remember it, please. Huh? How did you get this far? The white rabbit dragged me around some parallel worlds. At the end of it, I was brought to the Mao Castle. As I hear it, you're making a big decision. And it will make the world start to move. I, of course, will take the side of the Dark God. And I'll come to fight the Elias faction. Up to now, you've journeyed with Elias. However, won't you try rethinking it here again? Elias' self-righteous way of doing things will, without fail, cause a collapse. The Ark Plan, which only saves the Chosen Ones, is the most extreme example. Luca, it is still not too late. Take the side of the Dark God. You and I, could we not save this world together? Alice is, of course, in the Dark God camp. 
If I should take the side of the Dark God, Alice should join my party. Mm-hmm. Huh? As I recall, you're from the past parallel world. Why are you here? Through the guidance of a white rabbit, I met this world's Alice. I'm so fortunate to receive an invitation to such an interesting party. As I hear it, you are at the crossroad of a great choice and such. If you pick the side of the Dark God, we will come to fight together. But if you choose the side of the Goddess, you and I will be enemies. That too might be interesting. <laughs> Not creepy at all. 100%. It seems that Alice Stromelia intends to take the side of the Dark God. If I take the Dark God's side too, then Alice Stromelia should join my party. And that's the important changes here. Hmm. Ah. This has become a difficult situation, hasn't it, Luca Kuhn? With the great decision before you, I can sympathize with your anxiety. In my age, I was just about to march on the Maul Castle, but actually, I too was approaching a big decision. What becomes of me as a result of that decision? I got to see that in this age, at the sinner's sealed prison. Anyway, you make the choice that you won't regret too. For the sake of the people who believe in you, even if you turn your sword against the goddess. Heinrich is a healer who follows and obeys Elias. If I take the Dark God side, then Heinrich should leave my party. And that's mostly important stuff here. You might think Lucifina and Mikael have something to say, but it's like one line apiece. But let's not forget to get Nuriko's take on this side, too. Q. 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 Very insightful, Nuriko. Good girl. And that should be the sailing differences from the Alice side around here. Let's see how the Great Decision differs. But fair warning, although we come in with Elias instead of Alice, after certain points the dialogue will be the same as the other side, and at those points I'll just skip. The same as last time though, I'm picking the first option, then the second option. Luca, have you made up your mind? Ahead, the authorities of the Dark God and the Goddess are waiting. With the moment of the great decision before me, I think about it a little more, or have already made up my mind. Yeah, let's go. I've already made up my mind. Finally, with this, I decide which path we should take. Those are good eyes. Your de t determination is hidden in them. It seems that you have made up your mind, destroyer of worlds. It appears you have chosen, th selected the path you should take. Let us hear it, child of judgment. Will you take the side of the Dark God, executing the world unification plan? Or, will you obey the goddess Elias Sama? and advance the Ark plan. This decision is a great fork. The objective, the objective we fight for and the opponent we fight against depends on this choice. I must make my reply carefully. After all, this decision will decide the fate of the world. Well, first choice, then second choice. First choice is, again, Take the side of the Dark God. Hmm. The righteous choice. Destroyer of worlds. 
Let us celebrate your decision. Ah, what a foolish choice. To take the side of the dark god means opposing us. Child of judgment, you must once again reconsider. If you don't, we will have to destroy you. Still disliking the explicit threat there, Alaphila. Redo my decision or even so side with the dark god. And yep. You do, after all, choose to follow the Mao. Elise's group leaves my party, and Alice's group joins my party. It wasn't made clear in the run-up, but in addition to Alice and Alice Dromalia, Morgan does join your party if you switch sides from Elias to Demon World. And you can add her to your fighting party here, but she'll be occupied in the upcoming scene, so she'll immediately leave your battle group. This is good. So you will walk the same path as I. I believe that you would, Luca. Yahoo! We can fight together now! With this, I decided. Together with Alice, I took the side of the Dark God. Your intention, it will not waver. Then, there is no other way. Furiel, can you hear me? Commence option B, the Mao invasion, Mao castle invasion operation. Understood, Rafael Lasama. Transferring invasion squad to designated coordinates X Y zero zero six seven nine three four. Persuasion has failed, huh? Then the next part is our job. Putting all the monsters to death, we take control of the castle, correct? To us, it is a simple mission. <laughs> and the Shiten no? Where are the Shiten no? Invading the Mao castle. You bastards, you had this planned if Luca refused you. We told you, the ceasefire was until the Child of Judgment had laid down his decision. Are those artificial monsters? By the look of them, they have an unbelievable degree of completion. We are artificial Yoma, expressly created to defeat the Shiten No. The Shiten No are the strongest Yoma in this world. We who can defeat them cannot be threatened by anyone here. A countermeasure to the Shiten No. That damned Ilias creating such monsters. Seraphim, restrain the three succubus sisters. If possible, kill them here. Understood. It shall be as Ilias Sama wills it. As expected, that's how it goes. We fully anticipated this. Let's go, Asteroid, Morrigan. All right, leave those three to us. The little sisters have halted the three cellar of him. Both sides are releasing offense in deep sense of equal measure. We have measures prepared for this contingency too. Severed world blockade magic. I hereby activate At the moment, when Alice Fees the 15th was about to activate some sort of magic. Mao Alice Fees the 15th. I caught you. It was truly an instantaneous event. Dad's, Markellis' blade, pierced through the Mao's chest from behind. It was truly a single attack in an ardent guarded moment. Stealing life with one stroke of the sword, it was a deadly surprise attack. Da Dad? Your 
the Mao killer. The Mao with sluggish movement looks up at the face of the assassin behind her. It was clear that she already had no power remaining for a counterattack. As expected, my fate is to die to a hero here. My daughter, Alice. The rest is... Alice Fees, the 15th, fell flat on the floor, just like that. It's as if her life had already been severed. You're a dick, Marcellus. And my dad, giving one glance at Alice Fee's the 15th corpse. Without a word, he disappeared from the location. Dad, what have you done? Although his opponent was the Mao, a surprise attack with no argument. I was, having been shown that, unconsciously paralyzed. Mother, it can't be. Shiten no, rally to me. What a turn of events. The Mao. Can she really be? No, now we confront the enemies before us. They've come, and she didn't know I've come! Alright, this marks the end of differences between the Alice and Elias routes. It's all the same until... From here till the game dumps us to the title screen. Let's save time. F12. F12 takes a little while since it reloads the game from scratch, but it's still the time savings compared to the next... 160 odd dialogue boxes plus the refights. Anyway, now let's go in with Elias and choose the second option. Blah, 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 okay. The second option. Take the side of the goddess. You will obey the guidance of Elias Sama, will you? You have made the righteous decision. What a foolish choice. To obey the goddess is your own downfall. Right now, have you no intent to reconsider? It would be regrettable to come into opposition here. Even so, take the side of the goddess. That is good, Luca. As expected, you are the one that I trust most. Destroyer of worlds, you will obey the goddess after all. Well then, I didn't want to do this, but there is nothing to do but destroy you. With this, I decided, together with the little Ilya-sama, I took the side of the goddess. Hero Luca, I won't let you leave this castle alive. I'll have you perish here. It's unfortunate, but this is the contingency for Plan B. Here and now, we eliminate our greatest threat. Lilith and her group are looking intense, ready to kill. They really do intend to finish us off. Villains! You prepared to attack us here? Be at ease, Ilyasama. We too have made our own preparations. Then as Raphael has stepped forward, full of confidence. Those measures have ended in futility. I hereby activate the Severed World Blockade Magic. Unexpectedly, the entire Mao castle was enveloped in a bizarre barrier. Alice Fees the 15th applied it through some sort of magic. What is this technique? No way, our other world access is being cut off. Yeah, 
the vision of Raffaella disappeared. The rest is entrusted to you, Lilith sisters. Slay the Ilias party here. With those words, the vision of Saja disappeared. This is the ma that magic that the Maul discovered in secret, right? Amazing, Raphael has disappeared. Uh, hey, hasn't Saja Sama disappeared too? <laughs> Never change, you violent idiot. This magic cuts off access from other world, enemy and ally alike. We can't pull off some convenient crap as only cutting off our enemies. But this situation is greatly favorable. The goddess faction surely had a large, large force organized to conquer the Maho castle. And now, they can't come here anymore. We've got you cornered, Luca. Elias. Eh, <sighs> yeah. The three Lilith sisters approach us. I think we could take them, though. As if to interpose, three shadows danced out. Elias Sama, Hero Luca, we will, re we will restrain the three sisters. There's not a moment to lose. Escape from the Mao Castle. All right, finally time for mayhem. For waiting meekly out of all, all that time, I gotta let loose. Our powers are evenly matched. To allow Elias Sama to withdraw, executing delaying tactics. Seraphim, I entrust you with keeping them occupied. Luca, we must withdraw from here. Uh, yes, everyone, retreat! There's nothing we can do but entrust Eden and the other two to take care of this. We've got to get away from the Mao Castle as soon as possible. Okay, put Minnie in front of the party again. Important as always. Do you intend to turn your back on me and leave? I'm sorry, but I won't let you escape. <laughs> Atlas the 15th barred our escape path. Until we defeat her, it doesn't seem like we can escape. That's not the path we actually use to escape, but like, whatever. There is no other way. We shall topple them all here and now. We've got no other choice than that, huh? Let's go. Taking up our weapons, we faced off against them all. Even now, it seems like her incredible power will overwhelm us. Luca, I wanted you to take you as an ally, if it were possible. But since it's come to this, there is no other option but to kill you. At the least, you can sleep peacefully in my bosom. Oh man, that's really awkward. Mao Elias Alice V is the 15th. No matter how strong an opponent you are, I can't give up here. Luca, Elias. Unbelievable for you to have enough power to overwhelm me. Mm, yeah, normally she's stronger than the Shi Ten or the Seraphim and Lilith sisters, right? But below the six ancestors and seven archangels. And here we learn why Alice Fees the 15th doesn't die at the end of part two on the other side. It's so we can find her and add her entry to the encyclopedia. We, over our long journey, have come to the level where we force back the Mao. I approached Alice Fees the 15th as she recoils. It's our victory. Go on, make way. No, I will not yield. Even if in exchange for my life, you... The next moment, when LSV is the 15th, seemed just about to attack us again. Now LSV is the 15th. I caught you. It was truly an instantaneous event. Dad's 
Marcellus's blade pierced through the Maol's chest from behind. It was truly a single attack in an unguarded moment. Stealing a life with one stroke of the sword, it was a deadly surprise attack. D-Dad? You're the Mao killer. The Mao, with sluggish movement, looks up at the face of the assassin behind her. It was clear that she already had no power remaining for a counterattack. As expected, my fate is to die to a hero here. My daughter, Alice. The rest is... Alice V's the 15th fell flat on the floor just like that. It's as if her life had already been severed. Mark Ellis, you're still a dick. And my dad, giving one glance at Alice V's the 15th's corpse. Without a word, he disappeared from the location. Dad, what have you done? Although his opponent was the Mao, a surprise attack with no argument? I was at the sight of it, unconsciously paralyzed. It can't be. Mother. For shame, we were one step too late. Now I told you to remember that Alice got all the way here without Luca, but with a slime girl and a fox girl as her companions. Now, she appears with a slime girl and a fox girl. I mean, I don't know that it has any deeper meaning, but it's strange that it worked out like that. Revenge for the Ma'o. We won't let you get away. Setting sign the tiny, the tiny Ma'o. There's two Shiten no. We've come this far. Okay, this concludes all the differences between the Alice and Elias sides in these events. It's the same all the way to the title screen again. F12. So, it's time to wrap this up with the third route. I'll tell you bluntly, going down the third route is the same one coming from both the Alice and Elias sides. So let's just take whomever. This whole scene, again. And this scene again, up to the great decision. One, two, three. Search for a third option. Now, if you've been paying attention, neither side has acknowledged any third option being available, nor has any character amongst your allies, even the few who recognize that both options are going to suck. It's never even been mentioned anywhere in the game, except at the end of the collab scenario when Dodgy tells us about meeting a weird alternative version of the White Rabbit, who tells Luca, through Dodgy's story, to search for the third option. Although, truth be told, I've been dying for this option since the first demo of Paradox came out and it forced us choose, to choose between Alice and Elias. I remember searching for this. Ugh, oh, oh, it's been so long. Search for a third option. It's regrettable, but your, app, but your choices are one of two. There exists no such third option. There is only one point where our perspective accords with the Dark God's side. That is, in the fact that a third option does not exist. The Dark God and we, the Six Ancestors, search for every path. The best option that we were guided to was the World Creation Plan. Ahem, World Creation Plan? You guys were up to the World Unification Plan. Did mention of the third option make you slip up and mention something you were hiding, huh? Hmm? Elia has exhausted her wisdom, showing us the Ark plan. Nothing better than this can possibly exist. Will you, despite this, search for a third option? With the world on the verge of destruction, you'll try to proceed down a non-existent path? 
And here again, Saja slipped up. When she speaks to Luca, she uses the second person pronoun, Onushi, but here she uses Omae. Oh English doesn't have a lot of second person pronouns, so it doesn't translate well, but it's a bit like she's always said you, but this time said thou. Anyway, I'm getting the impression that this whole bit got thrown in at the last minute and the editor didn't get a chance to proofread it. This is exceedingly fruitless, Hero Luca. You should once again reconsider. Ah, both of you can get bent. Even so, search for a third option. Even so, I will search for a third option. I can't join Hans with either the Goddess or the Dark God. Is that so? Then, there is nothing to say. This must be decided of your own will. An excessively lazy decision. To say that you knowingly cannot but let pass your chance to act. Yeah, whatever. With this, I, together with my allies, left the Maho castle. Proceeding on a path of my own, I resolved to show a way to avoid the destruction. After that, with the passage of time, we've confirmed the disappearance of gold content. And continent. With this, over 80% of the world has submerged in chaos. <laughs> this is terrible. In the end, we were unable to discover a method of diverting, averting destruction. Squadering our time in futility, the beginning of the end came. In the end, did a third option never exist? This tower may be the last bastion of humanity, and no, of all life. No way, this will be just like that extinguished world. I take one moment to note that Hilda isn't here. Usually you can find her hanging out with Sonia and Nuriko. No, we have not lost. I'll gather resources in the underground levels and build a research facility. Uh, too little too late, Promistine. If you had the resources, shouldn't you have done that before 80% of the world was lost? I'll help you. At most, I can't do anything but carry loads, though. I absolutely won't accept that this is the end. No matter what predicament we are cornered by, we'll continue to fight. Time passes further. Sonia, Nuriko, may you get along well in heaven, too. If Nuriko hadn't sacrificed herself to stop Sonia, but... Now we've lost both of them. Mm. Mm. We'll need to expand the graveyard more. We've got no more space for burial. All of them. I want to see them buried promptly. We're in trouble. It's another assault by the Apotosis. Let's go. Time flows after that. I'm sorry for dragging you into helping me. I know you had a violent battle last night. Don't worry about it. At last the underground laboratory, laboratory is just about to end our service. Now I've finished the settings for the particle accelerator here. This value for the standard, ma standard magnetism is good, isn't it? Yes, it's perfect. Lucas, san how about we make you a full-fledged scientist? Because you're the son of Lucifina, san your intellect is first-rate. I'm sure you'll be an even greater scholar than myself. Eh, you're right. I'll have a go at studying in earnest. As far as time goes, it looks like I'll have however much I need. 
the survivors are just down to the two, us two, after all. From there, time flowed further. At last, just before this world would, dis would disappear into chaos. Finally, she's completed our last hope. Yes, it's been a long time. Truly, day by day, it's been so long. The data of her master, too, has been completely erased. With this, she's the same as a blank slate. Okay, I guess if she needed to be a blank slate, that explains why she knew so little. It doesn't fully explain why she's so plain dumb, though. We want her to choose, after all. Not because it's someone, someone's orders, but of her own will. Her will, huh? That itself is everything for this project. Everything was born from will, even the gods. And will itself will birth the last hope. Let's begin for the sake of spinning the will of hope. For the sake of the possibility of ending this destruction. All right, I've captured Target X's space-time coordinates. You've remembered correctly the actions of centuries ago, haven't you? It's the day I first succeeded with my holy dark fusion experiments, though at a small scale. I couldn't forget that. Erecting gate to I-372364. 67. All right, it's done. The transfer is complete. The processing with regard to Target X is completed. Target X from the context is promising herself in her past. Don't know why these two need a code name for her. So then, we finally send Mother. This whole zone in its entirety will be transferred to the past. The settings there are complete. We've finished preparations for transferring Mother. So then, let's be let us begin at last. Take care, Hilde so you can birth the third option that we didn't grasp. The dreams and hopes of this world, we entrust it all to you. With this, our long battle ends as well. So then, transference, engage. So, Hilde's mother made to birth the third option. The exact implications of that are yet to be revealed. But I want to draw your attention to the fact that Hilde didn't appear in this route. I called it out in that first scene. I think this series of events isn't what our party did. It's the work of an earlier iteration of our party. And yet another world, perhaps. One that didn't have Hilde. This fiction does kind of open the plot hole of how the Pope had his cyborg body, so perhaps I'm wrong, though. But on the other hand, the party never thought to flee to a safer world using Luca's ability to open those dimensional doors. Sure, it's not safe, but it's not like, but it's like they never considered it. It's already the end for this world, too. This spot will be swallowed by chaos, and everything disappears. Even though you and everyone tried your best so much, even though you fought so desperately to avoid the end, are you satisfied with this conclusion, I wonder? I'm satisfied, I'm not satisfied. I'm gonna say that it's about what I accomplished, not what I failed to accomplish, so I'm satisfied. Come on, Luca, you have to say it. I don't like it. Huh? 
Up to now, I've seen so many worlds perishing. Everybody has desperately done their very best, fighting through until they were completely exhausted. Even so, they couldn't grasp that future, and the world met its demise. It's happened so many, many, many times. You too must have seen it up to now. The figures of everyone who resisted de despair and tried to grasp that future. I want that, you know? That future of hope. I don't want to see these endings anymore. I don't like it. Even just once, I want to see a future where everyone is rewarded. Yeah. So, I'll guide you. No, how many, no matter how many, many times, I'll guide you to the utmost of my ability. Could this be so far in the past where White Rabbit actually decides to help? Or is she just repeating something she decided long, long ago? Yeah, this damn mysterious girl. <clears throat> In order to put the end, put an end to all the despair. In order to grasp a bright future in our hands. So, let's go, Hero Luca. To the fight to end these endings. You will return to reincarnate at the beginning. To which reincarnation will you return? From my journey's beginning or from the great choice? So in the demo, if you choose the third option, we can reincarnate. If you've played this game much, I don't need to tell you anything about reincarnating from the beginning. Let's see about reincarnating from the great choice. You will run back time to the great choice of Alice and Elias. Who will be your ally? Eh, well, Alice, I guess. With Alice as your ally, will you run back time back to the great choice? Is this really okay? Mm, yeah, sure. Time will run back to the great choice. Okay, great, that's what it does. You return to waiting period before the great decision. Also, you still can't save here. Uh, I mean, you shouldn't be able to save here. Okay, whatever. Not my problem. But before I end the video, I've got two things to say. First, that third option was not the true third option. If you decompile the game and open it up, you can see there's a placeholder for something. Something that I haven't put in it. But also, you have to flip a couple system switches. By the looks of it, you have to complete ending one and ending two. Then you go, quote, to the chaos route, end quote. My money says that you get Alice ending one if you choose Alice at the beginning and ending two if you choose Elias at the beginning. Uh, yeah, I'm betting that the angel world, devil, demon world doesn't actually have any bearing on the ending, the true ending, anyway. Now, one final thing before I end the video. I'm not doing Alice side, Elias side videos in the last part like I have up to now. One's going to hell and the other's going to heaven and it'll be impossible to line them up accordingly. So I'm committing to one side or the other for a full play to the end. Then I'm switching to the other. So I'm going to open up a poll on YouTube so you guys can, guys can decide where I go first. I'll link it in the video description. Just go ahead and vote if you care. <laughs> uh, like that, Paul's gonna get six votes or something. I have nowhere near the audience for a call to action to get anyone. But hell, it's not like I care which path I take. Anyway, that's the end of the demo, and all I've got to say about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.